spent five minutes teaching our best friend how to play poker. And now he's coming with us to a poker tournament for $130. Let's go! Stay alive, baby. Kyle just got into a massive pot, so it's... Gets you going big time. Gets you going big time. It's a Tuesday afternoon. A little poker couldn't hurt. Hope and Kyle makes a run today. We buy in for $130. Start with 15,000 chips. Blinds are moving up fast though. It's a turbo. Let's get into it. And number one, under the gun, raises up to 500. Blinds are 100, 100. I three bets to 1500 with pocket queens. Everyone folds except the initial raiser who calls. Flop comes ace, king, 10. Not a good flop for our hand. When he checks to me, I just check it back. Turn is another 10, pairs the board. He checks to me, and I don't think I can bet here for value, so I just check again, and the river is an ace. He bets 1,500. There's way too many aces and kings for him to have one, so I do just make the call, and he has pocket jacks, and we win. We haven't really played much, just one hand. We had pocket sevens in the big blind. We've got 12,000, our stack blinds are 200, 400, 400 big blind Annie. And we've seen Under the Gun open to 2,000 and he gets four callers. I thought this was a good spot to jam, but I didn't think it was just enough to put pressure on him. Under the Gun open, uh, pretty tight range. So I just made the call for 2,000 and we bricked on the flop and folded. Other than that, I haven't really played too much. We'll keep it going. Frankie's running hot already, as usual. For the next hand, we look down at pocket aces in the big blind. Blinds are 100, 100. Under the gun raises to 400 and we see one call. I still play my ace that just call. Flop comes nine, five, three, all club. I check, initial guesser checks, other guy in the hijack checks. Turn is a four, board's really dry and we're not worried about the flush. So I think a check here is great. Try to induce a bluff, but I do lead out here for a thousand and both players fold. We have 90 big blinds, doing great. Uh, let's keep it running. Just had a big one our way, wow. Okay, blinds were 300, 600, 600, and we see a plus one open to 1700. Mill position calls, I'm in the hijack with fours. I've got 9600 in my stack, I'm not folding a pair, so I rip it all in. Folds back around to the big blind, who actually makes the call. Kind of a weird spot, and both the other players fold. He shows ace, 10 of clubs. Run out was jack, seven, three, all hearts, and the turn was a king of spades, river, jack of diamonds. So just scooped in a nice pot our way. Hopefully we can keep running hot. Down to 17 big blinds. We look down at pocket kings in the button. The player who has never played a tournament before limps for 800, and I decide instead of going all in with 15 bigs, I just re-raise it to 3.5 bigs, trying to target this player. I don't want him to fold. The big bind player calls, and this a new player makes a call as well. Going to the flop, no ace, no ace. Ace, two, three. The guy leads out for 3,000. I only have 8,000 left. With the ace high board against a new player, I still make the call, and the big blind folds. The turn is a five. Bet 3K again. I call, playing to call. With 1,500 left in my stack, the river is a... Four, giving a straight on the board, ace two, three, four, five. And our man goes all in, I snap call, and he has pocket sevens. He didn't have an ace. We didn't get lucky. He sucked out on us, chip in a chair. I have 29K, I've the got, blinds are 1,000, 1,500. I've got 16,000, so about 10 big blinds. What you got? You I don't know, I got some chips. <laughs> <You> got <laughs> That's some all chips. that matters. We got some chips, all right, let's go. I'm so happy to make this announcement. The boys and I, are coming back to Los Angeles. They liked my state, they like California. I'm from San Diego, if you didn't know. Showed up my old stomping grounds. We went to LA a little bit ago. And we're coming back, Hustler Casino, and it's gonna be a spooky one. Why? Halloween weekend. Yes, we are coming October 30th. Here's all the details. It's gonna be an absolute blast. Tons of fun, friends. We're doing it with Poker Beast, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's have a time. Come out if you're in the area, and let's get a little spooky together. Why not? Frankie, listen to this, dude. Right. Kyle, Kyle just got into a massive pot. So it's one, two blinds, 1,000, 2,000. Uh, there are three limps to him, and he's in the small blind Not with pocket right. tens. He makes it 10,000. Oh, shit. He raises? Yeah. The big blind calls, and all three limpers call. <laughs> So the pot is 50,000. Five people in, he's out of position. He comes 866. He checks, it checks around. Why'd he check? I don't know. Turn is a two. He bets 10,000. Great. And he gets one caller, the cutoff. The river is a five. So all low cards, he checks to the other guy. He bets 10,000 and Kyle calls. And the other guy had Seven, quad nine. sixes. Quads? Yeah, pocket sixes. Did he flop the set? He flopped quads. Oh, he flopped quads. Eight, six, six. 
I would have gotten stacked. So I would have gotten stacked too. <laughs> Good job, Kyle. Chip in a chair, buddy. With the round 19 big blinds, I look down at pocket fives in the hijack. It folds to me, and I rip it all in with my pocket pair. No sweat today, they all fold. In the hijack again with 29,000. I look down at ace 10, good enough for an all in, and this time we get called from the big blind. What does he have? Ace king of spades, not good. We are at 25% here. Flop comes, nine jack, eight, two spades. Let's make him sweat. Hit that like button for a good turn. How about the queen of hearts? The straight, we are good if we hold. We do, River is the three of hearts and it's a huge double up. Just what we needed, some run good. Something pretty exciting that happened not too long ago. We were featured on NBC5 DFW. They were doing a story on local poker rooms opening up in the Dallas area. We got to give our two cents about the topic and their production crew came to our house to film me and Rosie and interview us. It was a blast. Three, two. One more time. Three, two. The shots turned out great. If you guys want to check out the full interview, we'll have the link below in the description box. Shit. Shoot, sorry. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Edit the cursing out. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Fitting with 14 big blinds, we see under the gun a limp from Kyle, our buddy. Then the under the gun plus one player limps as well. Easy slam dunk all in. Got on my left named Joe, who's a really good player. Um, knows what he's doing. Snap jams all in. Guy to his left, who's tight, snap jams, all in. I have king, queen, first ace, queen, and tens. What do we see on the window? King high, 10, eight. That is a set. The turn is a nine. We lose this one. When you're playing poker tournaments, you just gotta go all in to win. And this time we did not win our all ins. Go find the link in our description box below to pokercoaching.com. Tons of free charts and strategies to find there. Kyle, take this one home for the boys. Uh, well, just jam pocket twos. Got called by King Queen offsuit and we unfortunately got busted. Uh, Frankie just busted the same time as me with King Queen, so kind of bittersweet. We both lost, but our buddy Kyle is still remaining, so hopefully he can make a run. Let's go, Kyle. After that brutal hand with pocket tens Kyle had, he's now short stacked, and he looks down at King 10 offsuit, folds to him, and he says, all of it, baby. He ships all his chips in the middle and gets called by one person, the Choctaw Professor. I decide to make the call, and he shows a boat. Yeah. Get back to school. Stay in school. Get back to school. Stay in school. <laughs> Wags a finger right in my face. Tells me to go back to school. The professor flips over ace three offsuit, so it's a flip, but Kyle's gonna need to spike a king or a 10. The flop comes six, four, four with two spades, and the turn is the deuce of spades. Kyle needs a spade, king, or 10 to stay alive. Let's go. Let's go, he hits it. Chip in a chair, baby, Kyle is staying alive. 14 people left. We are now down to just 10 players left. Seven get paid. Kyle is short stacked again. He's in the big blind. We see an open from the hijack and he does what he does best. Rips it all in there, all in for 22,000 chips with his king 10 offsuit. The hijack goes into the tank, but makes a call and flips over queen seven offsuit. Interesting hand to call with. However, they're off to a board and it comes ace queen seven, ouch. Unfortunate, he flops two pair on him, but he does still have outs with the jack for a straight. Give me a, give me a jack, give me a jack, give me a dirty jack, give me a dirty jack. Ah, Sorry, good game. JG. No dirty jack unfortunately comes out on the Turner River, but Kyle's a good sport about it. For his very first poker tournament, he absolutely killed it. Shout out to Kyle for coming out with us. It was a great time. Oh, oh well. Yeah, we just wrapped up our session here. There we go, that looks better. Uh, well, we just wrapped up our session here. Didn't go our way exactly, but you know, it's the way it No, is. I busted first. As soon as I busted, I went to go to see how Jello was doing and he was busting. Bruh. Unfortunate, yeah. we lost $130 each today. Kyle made it the deepest, he got 10th. Let's go, big uh, run, big uh, money moves. One of our best friends since freshman year. So we had fun today, that's all that matters. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, I wanted to include an extra bonus hand from one of my previous sessions.
just to highlight exactly what Texas poker is about. A big fan of the vlog wins a massive pot here and I promised him I'd throw it in a vlog soon, so here it is. There's a $5 straddle on. We see CJ, our buddy who we have a bunch of poker history with, does exactly what he's famous for, going all in blind. He's got $99 left. All those chips are in the middle before he even gets his cards. There's a few folds until it gets to the hijack who reaches for a stack of greens and calls the $99, folds around to the small blind, who thinks about it, <laughs> oh man, I thought he was gonna fucking... and calls as well, oh boy, he calls too. Oh. And then the guy in the straddle does something extremely unexpected. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. He rips it all in for $237 total. Pot is already over $500. The hijack thinks about it and calls the remaining $138. And then it's back onto the small blind. And he calls as well. Wow, this pot is massive. The straddle lets us sweat his hand. He's got pocket jacks. Unfortunately, I folded a jack. And then the small blind lets me sweat him as well. He's got queen jack suited. All the jacks are dead. One time dealer, Mr. Mike, one time. Man. The hijack and small blind end up checking it down. The guy in the straddle shows pocket jacks and one by one people muck their cards. CJ still has not looked at his cards and he flips over a 10 and he flips over his other card. It's a king. Oh. <laughs> pocket jack scoops in this massive pot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is why I recommend any poker players to move on over to Texas or at least come check it out once. It's a once in a lifetime experience here and unlike any other place you're going to find for poker. If this video gets over 2,000 likes, we'll be choosing one random subscriber to send a signed next gen card protector, personally signed by me, Rosie, and Frankie. 2,000 likes on this video. Thank you so much for watching.